What do you want, Nick? The question, former Prime Minister, is what do you want? So you have this character who says, I don't play by the rules and neither should you. Not only did the party say, look, we want you gone, she's actually been disendorsed. And she has an idea in her head about who she is and she's holding all these things up and all of a sudden all that's gone and she's back to the bottom. And I think what Nick sees in her is great potential. Here's your problem. Normal people don't join political parties anymore. They're busy having actual lives, which means the rank and file has been reduced to 5G fuckwits and the branch stacking shock troops of the Christian right. And don't even get me started on Queensland. Nick, as the trickster, is showing Rachel what she can do, where she can go, where she can play. They're dragging the party to the fringe, leaving the middle wide open, and that's your part of the sandpit. A sensible centre. Exactly. This was an example of parties being pushed to the extreme and actually failing to represent, quite often, mainstream views. You see yourself now as broken, humbled, exposed, humiliated. I see something else. You're the underdog. People love that. I've been disendorsed, Nick. Maybe you didn't get the memo. There's another word for disendorsed. Freedom. Because if you go independent now, it's not because you've screwed anyone over. They left you no choice. So for you to come back is self-defining. I'm standing for all those who feel the parties have abandoned them and no longer represent their core values. That bitch won't die.